Aren't you supposed to present something to us today? <laughs> <laughs> I would, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Board of Education of Grand Rapids Public Schools this evening, Monday, May 20th. Before we begin the meeting, Mr. Ross has brought to my attention the tragedy in Oklahoma City regarding the school children, so I'd like to take just a few minutes as we think about them. Thank you. Will you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mr. Ross, will you please take the roll? Grant? Yes. Lanier? No. Moody? Present. Turner? Present. Randalls? Present. Ross? Present. Slade? Present. Baker? President Fall. Present. We have a quorum of seven. Thank you. Do we have a motion for approval of the agenda? So moved. Second. Four. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Well, we have a wonderful celebration this, this evening. John Hemho is going to come up and introduce our celebration for tonight, President. Good evening. Good evening. Um, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you none other than uh, Diana Seeger, <laughs> the president of the Grand Rapids Community Foundation, one of our greatest partners, yeah. uh, long-term supporters. And uh, she's here tonight uh, to offer up uh, the appreciation, thanks, support, for all the schools that uh, were successful in earning their uh, uh, their uh, classroom mini grants. And Diana, if you want to come up and join me and uh, tell us more about the story. Uh, we just uh, are finishing up a little celebration next door. And uh, that is it. So thank you for coming. My pleasure. I wore pink just for this occasion. <laughs> Board members, superintendent, I will just tell you that you have um, the best schools and the best teachers and the best students. And each and every year for the last 26 years, we have honored teachers and students for their accomplishments. This program has its origins in something called the Excellence in Education Day, and it involved both the, the all the Catholic schools and the Christian schools, as well as the Grand Rapids Public Schools in the city of Grand Rapids. It's our commitment to urban education, and now we're focusing really specifically on the Grand Rapids Public Schools. So I love being partners with GRPS. It's great. Well, you know that we've been committed to education for a very long time, even predating me, and I'm very old, um, and uh, had scholarship programs that started in the 1940s, so we really do have deep roots. We believe that schools do play an essential role in our community, that investing in our students is the best investment we can make for our future, for our workforce. We believe in celebrating. We often don't do that in the achievements of our students, our teachers, and our school staff. And this is what the Good Classroom Mini Grant Program is really all about. As I said before, there, these, these mini grants are awarded annually to teachers and school staff to all the private and public schools in the city of Grand Rapids. But tonight we are focusing on the Grand Rapids Public Schools. We're focusing on the innovative projects and programs that go above and beyond the school's budget. This year, we've awarded 34 mini grants totaling $122,000. The average award to a classroom was $3,600. The mini grant program began in, oh my, 1987, as I said, in our 26th year. And I was there. Um, our teachers are doing exceptional things. The mini grant program supports a variety of projects and the themes this year included technology, service learning, literacy and arts programming. 
An example is that a fourth through sixth graders at North Park School completed an in-depth study of Thomas Edison. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, that's great. Well, what they discovered was that his inventions and impact in America was really phenomenal and then saw it firsthand at Greenfield Village. The second example is the Teens Incorporated program at Ottawa Hills High School, which taught students all aspects of starting a business, including writing a business plan, manufacturing, and selling products. The mini grant program is made possible by our donors. And some of these donors are the Mary I and Robert C. Pugh Donor Advice Fund at the Community Foundation, the Herbert and Do Doris Vandermay Donor Advice Fund, the Patricia Muth Donor Advice Fund, the Arthur H. Holmes Handicap Donor Advice Fund, and the Patricia P. and Armin G. Omedian Donor Advice Fund. These are people who have really made a deep commitment to education and, want, and to perpetuity want to make sure their grants are made in that area. I want to say special thanks to Dr. Walter DeBoer, who conducted a grant writing training for potential applicants, who sits on the selection committee, and to Kathy Muser, the principal at Kent Hills, who also sits on the, on the selection committee. Both of them really, really have done exceptional work with us. So with all that said, it's time to celebrate and to recognize our mini grant winners. Many grant recipients represent the very best in Grand Rapids. Dedication to their classrooms and the students is admirable, as well as their dedication to the families within their, our school district. The award winners are Central High School Health Science, Jamie Princeton. And I'll tell you, if I mispronounce your name, <laughs> please understand that while my name is Diana Seeger, I have been known as Donna, <laughs> Diane, Seiger, and in high school, Miss Cigar. So I'm just, <laughs> and I live to, to uh, if you still. don't get Mrs. Flab. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, and Winnie, that's a, you are the last thing you are. The Grand Rapids Public Schools District Wide, Janet Milanowski and Rebecca Ryan. Harrison Park School, Gwen Heatley. Kent Vocational Options, Mindy Walker and Todd Jones. The Lincoln Development, De Development Center, Jennifer Murchison. Lincoln School, Denise Volbeta, um, oh brother, Brian Stof Stoffer. I will tell you, I did practice these names. You'd, I won't be selected to read the names at graduation ever. Um, the MLK Junior uh, Leadership Academy at Barbara Dodge. North Park School, Robin Sorge and Sue Hendricks. Otto Wheels High School, Lorraine Phillips, John Demeester, Melissa Bultema, Kenneth Henderson. <coughs> Palmer Elementary School, Angela Cook. Ridgemore Early Childhood Center, Cindy DeYoung and Ann Zollner. Ann is a multiple award winner. <laughs> Riverside Middle, Erica Hewlett, Hugh, Hewlett. Shawnee Park, Hearing Impaired, Shannon Spital, Cindy Kaufmeyer, and at Sibley Elementary, Mary Eaglesman, who was another award winner for previously, Ray Lynn Wood. Southwest Community Campus is Jody Taminga. Union High School, Karen Heising. West Leonard Early Childhood Center, uh, Tony DeLuca, Amy Allison Houghton, Kathleen, Kathleen Lowroski. Uh, Low oh, I like that. So I just want you to know, huge congratulations to these very committed teachers and to their students and to the great classroom projects. The excitement that emanated, I know, from the written page and for Walter's great work in, in helping teachers develop with some really good proposals cannot be understated. I just am so proud. And so I want to say thank you and congratulations to all of our award winners. And you probably should all stand. Will the uh, award winners stand and be recognized? Anyone yeah, here? And again, I apologize for massacring the names that is not very respectful, and I do apologize. 
Now, the, the lovely commemorations are on the table as you leave, and I want to say thank you to all of you who have really provided the atmosphere for some really good teaching, good learning, and it's a pleasure to work with each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I just, I really want to express uh, my gratitude to these educators and their initiative and their, their imagination about what's possible. I really, it's fantastic. Board of Ed, congratulate you. All right, next on the agenda. Student representatives, Mr. Arrington and Ms. Eatman do not appear to be present, so moving on. No public comment for board agenda items? Nope. No. We are at reports. Mr. Ross, Secretary's report. I uh, just um, have a little something to offer in regards to spring carnivals. Um, obviously, springtime is that time of year for um, annual spring carnivals. And we have three uh, beginning tomorrow. The first at uh, Union High School, 6 p.m. to 7.30. Uh, Wednesday at Creston, 6 p.m. to 7.30. And Thursday at Ottawa Hills, 6 p.m. to 7.30. Just an opportunity for folks to come out and learn more about GRPS and the transformation benefits and free food always helps and uh, some games and things of that nature as well. So spread the word. Thank you. Superintendent's report. I really want to take this time to thank Diana um, and her team for all of their support. It is just project after project the Grand Rapids Community Foundation steps up to the plate and we just really can't thank her enough. We had a senior fun day um, this week or last week and retired GREA members for the second year straight came out to register our students to become voters. We had 94 students that they registered this year alone. Just hats off. We are very pleased that every year they come out to get our students registered to vote. Thank you. Committee chair updates. Mr. O'Connor. Um, yeah, we had a finance committee this morning. Um, I have just a uh, brief review of the budget, uh, which we'll be bringing the, uh, just checking the date here. Um, we'll be holding our first public, our, our public budget hearing on June 17th at 5.30, which will be preceding the uh, regularly scheduled board meeting. Um, and uh, we'll be dis discussing the budget uh, at our next uh, board work session. Thank you. Ms. Slade, can you? Yes. Um, the Achievement Committee met on May 14th. <coughs> we had a report from the Instructional Council to give us an update on the curriculum on the Reading Street series, which was adopted in 2012. No, I think 2011, 2012. It was a very big project, and so we were pleased to get the report. reviewed that in that program, we went through what the issues were at the time of starting, and it is uh, ongoing, but now it's at, can you help me with this, um, mm -hmm. Mr. Ross, so is it now called Turner? <coughs> Turning, Turning Point. Academy yeah. of Community College, mm -hmm. so that's our successful one, that is a, a program for students who uh, are pursuing a high school diploma. We had a lengthy report on special education, uh, primarily on the disproportionate number We need to look very carefully at what we're doing with that population, um, seeing what kind of issues we need to deal with and what kind of changes we need to make to correct that. Um, so we reviewed the data on that and we also have a, a report on the restructuring of special ed for next year, which was pretty extensive. Thank you. Thank you. Board, we have three action items on tonight's agenda. The first is policy 5520, an evaluation policy. Our second reading, do I have a motion to approve the second reading of that policy? So move. Support. Thank you. Discussion. I know we had a lengthy discussion in our work session in the first reading. Any further? Just to recap for folks. Um, it's our intention essentially to um, move through this very carefully and we've done a lot of thought about how to evaluate teachers and do it well um, and I think our policy reflects that and um, 
people can look at, look it up and look into it, and we'd be glad to hear feedback from the general community. But um, essentially, it's very important to us that we evaluate teaching as good teaching and not uh, strip that down to a, a one criteria um, of looking at teaching to, uh, teaching to the test and uh, and uh, we don't want a one-dimensional um, analysis of the teachers or what's going on in the classroom. So we're committed to doing that and, and uh, looking at this carefully. And, and, I, and I'm very happy with our, our, um, the policy as it's written because it does, it does um, avoid some of the simplistic analysis that we've seen in other pieces of legislation, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess to follow up on that, the the policy reflects current state law and in broad terms the evaluation system that the Academic Achievement Committee has been introduced to and review and that we've implemented this year and um, it's uh, a lot to be proud of. It's a, it's a fantastic system. So any other questions? We'll call the vote. Uh, Mr. LeGrand. Yes. Uh, Pastor Moody. Yes. Mr. O'Connor. Yes. Dr. Randalls? Yes. Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Slate? Yes. Uh, President Falk? Yes. Action item passes 7 0. Thank you. Second on the action items is an approval of the purchasing agenda. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve the purchasing agenda. Support. Any questions regarding it? Concerns? Call the vote. Uh, Ms. LeGrand? Yes. Mr. Pastor Moody? Yes. Mr. O'Connor? Yes. Dr. Randalls? Yes. Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Slade? Yes. And President Fall? Yes. Purchasing agenda most action item passes 7 0. Thank you, Mr. Ross. And the last action items is the GRE OA layoff resolution. Do I have a motion to support that layoff resolution? So moved. Support. Support. Questions? Just, I, I have one question. Mm -hmm. Who could you describe to me that position? What I mean, mm -hmm. what that is? Those are um, you would know them as family support specialist, and um, with the sick grant, we brought on an extra like five or six people, and so we need to now rethink its attendance around attendance and truancy is what you would know it as. Further questions? Mr. Ross? Mr. LeGrand? Yes. Mm, Pastor Moody? Yes. Mr. O'Connor? Yes. Dr. Randalls? Yes. Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Slade? Yes. Uh, President Fall? Yes. Uh, resolution class is 7 0. We are at the consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda. I move. Support? Support. Support. Call the vote. <laughs> Ms. LeGrand? Yes. Uh, Mr. Moody? Yes. Uh, Mr. O'Connor? Yes. Ms. Randalls? Yes. Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Slade? Yes. And President Falk? Yes. Senator Jinder passes 7 0. Thank you. We have no discussion items tonight. We had one card for public comment on a non agenda item. I do not. Uh, that was Laquan Tyler. I don't see her anymore. Laquan Tyler, no. Nope. I think she may have left. Any other? That's it. All right. Superintendent's comments. No comment. All right. Board member comments. Ms. Slade. I have no comments this evening. Thank you. Mr. O'Connor. Well, in light of the brevity of the meeting, I will, <laughs> I will take a moment and tell everyone that um, my son is now one of the three last people at City High who has not been assassinated in the game of assassin. I love it. <laughs> and in fact, he killed his target last night at 12.30 by hiding in a dumpster outside the guy's house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that important board business, <laughs> Mr. LeGrand. Mr. Ross. No comment. Ask him no comment. I just want to acknowledge the two <laughs> fabulous art shows I saw last week by GRPS students um, the citywide art show at the UICA and the Graham. They were both. It was a joy to see both the children and their artwork. And I want to congratulate those children and their families and all the teachers' work that brought them there. So that meeting's adjourned.
Gideon.